What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be going over the squad that I'm going to be running with to try Go 12 and O next month. So lads, next month is a big one, especially if you're in the position I'm in right now. We've currently, this is not only going to be for one Opal, it's going to be for two Galaxy Opals. So I really, really do wonder what these cards are going to be. I am 100% certain one of them is going to be a point guard. Because we haven't seen a point guard since Baron Davis. I wonder what the other one's going to be. It's probably going to be a either a two guard slash small forward or small forward power forward. Because I think it's highly unlikely it's going to be a center, but I can guarantee you one of them is going to be a point guard. You know what? I wouldn't be that surprised to see an Opal Kawhi Leonard here. I'd be surprised, but it wouldn't be that surprising. I'm trying to think. I'm, I was actually still... I'm, I think we're going to see another Will Chamberlain later on in the year. I'm trying to think. These are probably like moderately big names that... Uh, you're going to be good. But I'm guessing if we do see a point guard, it's probably going to be like a base 38, Trey Burke base or base 98 or Wade base player. Um, I have a feeling that that's what they're going to give us because that's what they've been giving us more and more now. Just like last year when they started giving us a load of base 11 players, we now have Joe Caldwell, um, who's a base 98 player. So we have the three of these guys. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I don't honestly don't know who it's going to be, but you know what? I'm going to be getting him, and I'm going to be getting him quickly. Again, now we're going to go over the squads I'm going to use. So, this is one squad I, I'm thinking of using, where I'm running out there with three, basically, base 98 players to start off the lineup. Dean Wade, Eddie Curry, and these guys off the bench. Is it a spectacular lineup? Not really, but I get could work. Really could work. And I'm going to just throw in what I would say my best team would be. And I think I'm going to try, or say best. I definitely will try to run it with the best lineup first because, again, I think I've lost one of my last, like since going 12 and 0, I've lost one of my last maybe 20 games. But especially with the super sweats at the start of the month, it's just, I don't know. Like, I don't like, I don't like using great teams because you're coming up against great teams as well. Like, I'd rather not, like, not even that I'd rather not sweat, I'd rather. I don't even care if I lose the games. I don't, it's not that I necessarily want an easy run. I just don't want to just have to sweat and to run deep hash and to spam behind the backs and stuff, which is what I'm going to have to do. So we're going to probably go all out, to be honest, and just try to blitz teams and get the quick win. So normally, like if I was playing a competitive game, I would run with a like, comparable starting lineup and bench. But let's be real, I probably will just blitz teams. So... Who do I play a power forward? Actually, you know what? This is this could be a smart decision. This could be a really smart decision here. Um, unsells, and then center Hakeem. I probably would go with this team, and then go out with off the bench Wade as our point guard. The two Kobe small forward. I don't even know who I'd run at the three, to be honest. Maybe Lafonso Ellis? I really don't know. Kind of weak at that small four position. I see Eddie Curry at center. Let's see what small forwards we could be affected with. Where do you, where do you do a job? Yeah, where do you do a job? And then power forward. Let's throw in. Actually, you know what? Let's throw in Caldwell instead. Let's go small ball. I probably will go with this lineup. This lineup could be very, very effective. A 96 overall here. A starting lineup to just completely, that's a very, very strong. And then off the bench, you've just got three or five really, really good scores. A lineup like that could work. And then we're gonna go out with some of our overall cheese lineups. So realistically, if you're gonna go five man, you better be effective with the five man. So a lot of people, I've seen tutorials, and I'm not even joking, that are saying you can go 12-0 and 0 in under one hour by using this tactic. Pargo, just random bronzes, like, I don't really care. And then say, I don't know, they say, like, oh, yeah, let's just throw in Sapphire Mirasan. Something like that. And all bronze. And they're like, oh, yeah, you're not. You're only going to come up against all bronze teams, and now you have Mirasan, so you're going to win the game. One, I've tried this tactic, and you come up against Mirasan 90% of the time. And if you don't come up against Mirasan, if you're playing against a smart player, 
what they will do is they'll do this. Put in Thon Maker instead of Mirasan. And you basically are coming up against the same opponent. An even smarter player, if they are running with Mirasan, would chuck in this dude right here. Makes things ten times easier. We'll go out with this. Redick. Corver. And suddenly it's a 71 overall. Suddenly if you're just out there with Mirasan, you're then coming up against these guys right here. And who knows, let's just say... Silver, Javon Carter. He's usable. He's usable. And then, do I have any good power forwards that are silvers? I don't think there are, as far as I know, anyway, in terms of range extent or in terms of quick draw. So, Dean Wade, he's got a cash release. So, suddenly you're seeing this team right here. And again, this team will probably go down to 71 if I lower, probably go down to 71 at least if I lowered the bench. Suddenly, if you're just running Bronze Amir Sun, you're getting matched up to a team like this, where you've got two range extender players and one elite shooter with quick draw, who's actually a really solid defender in Javon Carter for cheap. And then, obviously, if you do see somebody, there is the occasional time you'll come up against a squad like this, but honestly, if you if you are considering running with the all bronze method and one big, I'm telling you, a method like this pushes two overalls up, it really really makes things easier especially if you run with low bronze on the bench like you will be able to get that to a 71 overall but uh yeah so no i don't say this is a night plan because i'm not going to use this squad so i've got two five i've got two lineups that i'm going to call sold and sold two it's spelled s-u-l so u-l because it's selling your soul so um this is the first line i'm going to run and this is really really similar to the lineup i ran last month Except I had, instead of Thad Young, I had Jonathan Isaac. And I think I prefer, I do like, really like both of them. I really like both of them. And the big man in this squad is Eddie Curry. Eddie Curry. Like, honestly, if I could afford to, I probably would throw in George Hill. But I know I can't. If you do want to get the overall maybe lower or if you're struggling. Or, for example, if you want to run with a gold wing or a better emerald power forward. Then... You can get away with running Ridden Hour point guard instead of Divincenzo, but I do prefer Divincenzo just that little bit. But um, yeah, you've got um, Contavious Caldwell Pope, one of like, again, when you're overall, when you're running with five mans with these type of lineups, quick draw is a, quick draw is a godsend. Like, and Javon Carter, quick draw, 78 three ball. He's cash. You've got Contavious Caldwell Pope, quick draw, 87 three ball. I was playing a lot of play now online, and KCP literally is the best shooter, not named Steph Curry in that game. And you've got Thad Young, quick draw. He's got Dwayne Wade base and a good three ball. He is so cash as well. And Eddie Curry is Eddie Curry. So this lineup, I think, is could be really, really effective. I think this one I'm going to use. But I think I might have found... The weird thing is that like this lineup, obviously, you've got Eddie Curry is a really main offensive threat. And you've also got DiVincenzo and Carter who can do stuff. But this lineup right here might be the one I go with. And it's Dwayne Wade, who is like a super offensive threat. Like, Dwayne Wade can win games by himself. Then we've got J.J. Redick. The reason why J.J. Redick is in here, not, like, he's not a good defender, but I'm going to be playing 2-3 zone the whole time with these guys anyway. J.J. Redick got range extender and quick draw. Yeah, I know he's a steady, but I'm telling you, he can hit shots. Kyle Korver, range extend, silver range and goal quick draw. So if they sit in a 2-3 zone, you literally just have, you've got three range extender players on the floor, so you call five out. As long as these two dudes sit in the corners. Actually, you've got four range extender players. Joe Cheese range extender. As long as Thad Young is in the corner, basically. And if you don't want Thad Young in the corner, play him on the ball. Just pass around and you'll get somebody wide open. And you'll be able to hit them against the zone. And then Joe Chi. Um, he's got 88 three ball, 89 mid. And actually, like, with his speed, speed ball and acceleration. Well, yeah, he's not going to be quite the, like, demigod peak shooter of... Eddie Curry, I think he will still really be effective. So, these are the lineups I'm going to run. Obviously, either this team or this team. If I can go 12 0, I definitely will. I realistically am not going to be um, using like a 13 man lineup because that's just kind of at this stage in the game, like I'm not going to be using the last three guys at the bench. And I'll be trying out different things, honestly. But I don't think there's that many people around that, that are better at overall cheesing than me as in i don't mean by like um 
better at the game, but I mean, there are not that many people better at using bad players than me, if you get where I'm coming from. And there's not that many people that are going to cook people with silvers and golds like I cook people with silvers and golds. So, um, yeah, there is, that is kind of what I'm looking at doing. But uh, yeah, so obviously there is two free Galaxy Opals um, on the line. And lads, when the, when the free Opals come out, the pride goes out the window. It doesn't matter how you go 12-0. and 0, It doesn't matter what team you run. All that matters is you get them free Opals. So anyway... That's pretty much it. So that's the video. These are the squads I'll be running with. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.